welcome back to my sewing blog The Seaside Sewist. I'm Natalie and this is a bit of a different vlog to what I usually put together but I thought it would help me plan for the summer and it would just be a, di a different way to document what I'm thinking I'm doing for my holidays. So it's kind of going to be my holiday wardrobe plans for the summer. So in June me and my husband are off to Italy for the week. We are based in Verona, so we're staying in Verona for seven nights and then we're going to do day trips to like Lake Garda, Milan, the Dolomites, uh, spend a bit of time in Verona and the surrounding area. So I just wanted to maybe make my holiday wardrobe this year. So I've got some fabrics and patterns that I'd, I would like to make things up in. So. I'm going to start with a pattern that I think is going to be my most worn this summer and I bought this at the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show and my lovely friend Julia who came with me that day um, introduced me to this pattern and I thought yes I think this is going to be one for me and it's the Emporia sewing patterns and it's the Colby dress so it is a it's got no closures or darts making it very easy dress to sew the attached obi style belt means it's also the perfect dress for all body shapes so you use like this wrap belt in the middle to to cinch it in um and this comes in sizes small medium and large which is small is 80, 8 to 14 medium is 12 to 18 and the large is 16 to 22 and you can make this in a cotton, a chambray, denim, viscose, crepe, cotton lawn, silk, peach skin, rayon or cotton sateen so each of those are going to make this look just a little bit different so the, f the fabric that I bought at the Knitting and Stitching show to go with that was um, a Lady McElroy and it is the I think it's called Savannah and it's this one with all the big leaf print on and then you've got things like I've just seen it there a hummingbird at the bottom so I don't know whether this is a viscose or a, a cotton lawn I think it's a viscose it's a bit thicker than a viscose so I just thought that would look lovely in that pattern it's very cool on as well for, for what the temperatures are going to be. But I just thought that one would look absolutely gorgeous in that. Um, I've also got a few other fabrics that that could be made in. That, that wrap dress. So that's going to be fun. <clears throat> My next fabric that I bought was actually this one that I bought in Paris last year that I would really like to um, sew up into something to take on holiday. Now it's a little bit thicker, I think it is a cotton sateen, um, I've got loose threads all over and there's a bit of a theme going on here. So this is on a navy background and it's got all these big leaves and flowers. I know I've got two metres of this, so that might make another Corby but it would look completely different. You know, maybe for a, a night time or something, because it's a little bit thicker is all. So, that's another fabric that I think I can use. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where I'm piling all these fabrics up. I've just done another two YouTube videos, so this room, the floor of this room looks not very good. Um... <clears throat> The next fabric, again one that I bought in Paris, was a bright embroidery on glaze and it's like a stripe so even though I've washed this it smells of Paris. I know that sounds silly but it does. So it's it's a sort of stripe so you've got a different texture running through on each you might not be able to see it very well. And I only got one and a half metres of that because um, it was the end of the roll. 
So with that, I'd like to make a little top or a blouse, but it might have to be lined because you can see through embroidery on glaze, can't you? Mm. So I was thinking something maybe like the Park Lane by Nina Lee, the blouse version. Hmm. Then for on a night, I am going to sew up this fabric. I've been really naughty. I don't, this is like in a ball and this is art gallery. It hasn't been uh, folded up properly. And it's this art gallery rayon. Again, would look great in that Kobe dress, but I think I want to make a chalk and notch fringe, fringe dress out of this. Just something a little bit more, a bit more to it. But it's in this beautiful sort of claret colour with all the art gallery like painted roses on. So that'd be nice, I think, for on night. There's actually probably loads of fabrics I could go through and make um, things for my holiday. So I might do a, a version two of this video. And then at the Knitting and Stitching Show, I bought this sort of cabled jersey and have yet to have any plans for it. So what I was thinking is, so we've got this Savannah one. You've got this on through the day, and I don't even know why I'm saying this. I was going to say it, it starts coming in a bit chilly in Italy, but you never know. So we've got this. I'm thinking of maybe using a little bit of this to create a cover-up. So like maybe a little Marlowe sweater, cardigan, you know, in this just so I've got a little bit of a, a, a thin cover up to put over um, things even on an evening you know just a, a nice little cardigan so it's got like a cabled effect through it and then there's plenty left to do I don't know it's some, some sort of jumper or whatever but it's got quite a lot of stretch and it's not particularly thick but it's um, it's enough for a nice little warm cover up so I might go down that route I think it'd be nice to have a little cover up and then another evening wear I think that it would be lovely is a darker again and it is this viscose that I got from Rainbow Fabrics on a navy background and it's got all little colourful rainbows on and I thought maybe a wrap dress in this so there's a lovely little wrap dress in the Sew Over It Summer Dreaming ebook called the Ravello and it's quite simple, quite sort of boxy rather than being too floaty so I might make that out of that. So the last thing and it's all cut out, this got cut out last summer um, and then the summer passed and I never made it and it is the after picturing of the pattern it's from the Sew Over It Summer Dreaming ebook again and it is the Sienna dress which has like a buttoned up front and then shearing and I'm trying to get a piece of this out without disturbing too many of my pieces so it's in this pink viscose from the So Hilly Jane box with like teal and green paisley on. So it's probably the first thing that I'll make because it's um, all cut out. So I think that is plenty of plans there. I've then got like other me made things that I can put on like, um, you know, chinos and a, a t-shirt on certain days depending on where we go and what we do um, you know if we're going to the Dolomites for the day it might a dress might not be practical or whatever so I will keep you updated on how I get on with those plans as the time goes on so let me know if you've made any of those um, patterns 
or you've got any other ideas what I can make with the fabrics um, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this type of video and please subscribe if you don't do already until next time bye